Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people? YouTube, my name is Jurtastic, and welcome back to another special episode of Major League Roleplay on GTA 5 5M. The reason why I had to say this is special because today we had to do a lot of the more realistic cop work, if you will. You know, I'm not saying when it's action packed, it's not realistic, but I'm saying most of the times the cops are not always in constant pursuits. We do traffic, we do supervisor requests, we do investigations. And that's exactly what you're gonna see today. It's gonna be primarily based on traffic and some supervisor requests, but this is really why I had so much fun with this episode. You guys already know, this is the Jarmy headquarters, so we should expect a good video. I'll see you guys when it starts. Let's get it rolling. Uh, disregard, sir. Sorry, the postal 1080, not an actual 1080. 10. Uh, medics out here. Corporal Promenade. Uh, Groshen High. We've got one. Conscious. Can I get information right uh, real quick? I'm gonna my radio. 10-4, uh, get to out here to Procrial Paramount 1080, um, Rarish and High. We've got someone looked over that's unconscious in this vehicle. Copy that, you can show engine 3, medic 3 responding. Bravo 1, gotta be uh, 23, traffic control. Maybe I should grab some cones while we do that. Hopefully they don't want them over, they probably will. Bravo 1 to uh, standby, actually, in this regard. Got a movie scar right here, he's County Parks. Should probably move it a different way because these guys will find any nook and cranny to sneak in. Good thing this ram is big as hell. I love this County Park skin. He's uh, he's part of our County Parks division here. Engine three, direct medic three. Go ahead. Be advised, we have a vehicle that's going to be tailing our emergency vehicles going in and out of traffic. I'll let you know if they pass how's, me. How's he doing? Copy that. He's unconscious, laying on the ceiling. Uh, I don't want to. Windows closed, everything like that. I don't want to go in and yeah. reach my hand inside and. Yeah. Yeah, I just put some cones down there. Moved your car a little bit. We should have the street closed off completely. Uh, okay, we don't, don't want to move him. No, I don't want to. Engine 3, copy. In case you'd be smart. Lincoln 32, can I get a unit headed up to uh, Polito from the freeway? I've got the, uh, looks to be a golf cart following that uh, fire truck up there. I'm currently on a 1011 uh, at the moment. Do I have any available unit for that? Dangle 6, we have an exactly idea. 104, it's going to be a so orange golf cart. Sorry, could you say that again? I was saying uh, there's some things looking for the engine. Um, it smells like gas. I'm not really sure though. Okay, let me let me go grab my fire extinguisher. Bravo one uh, engine. We're starting to smell some gas in here right now. If you guys could uh, step on the gas a little bit here, no pun intended. Engine <laughs> three copies. We're expediting. Let me go ahead and take my fire extinguisher out just in case. Come on, open up. What the hell? Come on. There we go. Okay, got my fire extinguisher now. Bravo 1 to 3, Echo 1. Uh, would the sus or the victim still inside the car? We're smelling some gas. Would it be uh, medically safe if I sprayed the engine with some uh, fire extinguisher? Or should we wait before he suffocates in there? I don't know. I'm not a fire guy. That's what I'm asking. Uh, 3 Echo 1, probably not the best idea. I might, uh, throw the gas around a little bit and 
don't want to have another issue with that. Uh, copy that, sir. I'll just keep the fire extinguisher in my hand in case something happens. Copy that. I wonder how this happened. That's 53 radio check. Zero, 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 snow freeway. Three echo one, Seneca six. Still safe, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, if you're able to go in front of the dirt medic out of the back uh, garage there and have a cycle. Oh, damn, that's loud. Alright, I'm gonna go put this back in I my trunk right here. Alrighty. I don't want to walk around with this on me if I don't have to, if I don't need to. All right. Put it down here. Direct call on engine three. Go and pull up here. We're going to need to use the, the truck as a stabilization device. Engine three copies. Out on looking good in those uniforms, Malcolm. What was that? So looking good in the Connie Parks uniforms, man. I love the hat. Oh yeah, that's... the truck is badass too. I haven't got it really. With how fast it goes, I think I only got it up to 80 on my way here. It goes up like 110, 115. Nothing doesn't go that much Perfect. faster either. So we're just waiting, guys. Love this kind of RP, to be honest with you. Just a simple call. I'm doing things here. Uh, could I get a. Could you repeat the post on the left call? Actually, if it's three, it's gonna be 2,000 on Sonoma Freeway. I think they might need to get the Jaws of Life, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure how they do this, but... We'll watch and learn, I guess. There you go, you called it. I hope, I hope he's okay. Uh, besides that, it is a beautiful day in Polito Bay. Uh, maybe not tight enough, or I mean, the vehicle's ceiling's not that high. Who knows? I'm about to check it out. Wondering how he could have. He's uh, he's in a scenario right now. Um, we'll have Captain talk to him when he's done. Temple. I didn't see any marks on the road I was pulling up. I don't know how he'd flip this. This, I mean, he, he must have been going fast. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hey, we know what uh, happened here exactly. No, um, not seeing any physical tire marks, but we're gonna do some virtual tire marks if you know what I mean. But um, I'll let I'll let I'll gotcha. let senior deputy mix here answer since he was first on scene. Yeah, I didn't see anything. I just seen him over. Um, after everything clear, I'm gonna go five, two, three, two, show me on the road for, for five mics. If not, I just go ahead and go to wherever you're taking him and ask him a couple of questions. Okay. Don't forget. Uh, we're gonna we, take him over to Polito. Yeah, I was gonna say. Don't forget we got that. So excited we're gonna use that. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll take him over to the Polito. Yep, you got it. All right. How is he looking? Is he critical? Uh, not super critical. Definitely not the worst I've seen. But uh, we definitely need to um, 
get him over to the hospital. Yeah, we're patching up right here before we can transport him. Okay, so here's what we'll do, uh, Malcolm. I'm gonna go move the cones. Once I move the cones, you can move your car, go after them, so you can open at least the, the westbound lane, and I'll keep my lane close so I'll get a tow out here. Alrighty. Alright, let me go move the cones. Alright, sounds good. At least he's not, he's not dead. Look at that, Sharif. <laughs> Sharif no. <laughs> Sharif no love in the house, y'all. I have one tank of 64. Uh, once the engine and medic move out, you're free to open that lane. Copy. Panorama across the cholo. Break, break. Lincoln 32, free around the area. I just have a blue Honda Civic going extremely fast visually. Uh, that I saw just took a right on uh, the overpass itself again. It's, uh, actually catching up to them right now. Standby. Lincoln 32 going towards the city. No, I got him right here. I'm oh, gonna, they're coming right to me. 10 Dot 31, I'm going to be back tonight. I have 12, show me code 6, 7326, I'll Boulevard, just uh, two suspicious males come out of an alleyway. I'll be checking the depth. Bravo 1, county traffic when ready. Go ahead. Bravo 1 is going to be uh, northbound 3047 Panorama Drive. Uh, got uh, Tango 32 with me. Two door, uh, dark blue car. No, no additionals needed. Hey man, interesting. It's coming back to a dead person, Billy Thompson. Oh, okay. All right. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll go ahead and check that out. Yeah. One out of twelve. You can show me back tonight. Nothing found. Hi, this sir. Can you roll the window down for me, please? Thank you. My name is uh, Sheriff Nola, Blaine County Don't Sheriff's Office. Control. You know why I'm pulling you over today? Go ahead. Uh, no, Don't I did not. Anyone. When you were coming from the city on the highway, before you exited on the Sandy Shores, I was doing speed radar just uh, on the southbound lane. I saw you blown by extremely fast. Any reason for the speed? Um, I mean, everybody goes fast on the highway. I just saw you. Listen, man. I mean, I didn't know what you were pulling me over because when I got back into Sandy, I mean, I saw the sign that said 50, and um, I was doing like 43. But I guess I was speeding on the highway, sir. But um, there you I, go. I guess I meant to because I got I got a heavy foot. Okay, you meant to. You didn't mean to. Engine three. I, I, mean, I, I mean, everybody goes fast on the highway. Go ahead. Okay. Sure Driver's license, one, registration, four, insurance, four. please. Okay. Okay. Is this your vehicle, sir? Yes, sir. It is. All right. All right. Billy Thompson, huh? Okay. Stand by, Mr. Thompson. Tango 63, Connie. Okay. Oh, Bobby, Go ahead. Bobby Thompson. Okay, let me check it out. Take a shot. Go four back in. Might I might I might have read that wrong. Let's see. Bravo 1 to Delta 86. Go for Delta 86. See, you, pull, you pulled over a Bobby Thompson earlier in a Honda Civic uh, speed limit. How fast exactly was he going? He was going about 14 feet hey, over. Pal. And went through about three Is red lights. Oh, yeah, three yeah, red lights. Okay. Cigarette Thank I can you. smoke. 10 4. Uh, no, sir. I'm Jewel Podge. I got mango Jewel Podge. 
Okay, show medic three back in service. Yep, I smoked an and jewel pods. How long you been doing that, man? I don't know, ever since I was a teenager in middle school. Okay. So did you smoke jewels and kind of graduate to cigarettes? How did that work? I mean, I smoke both of them, but Hello, cigarettes sir. is my go-to now since I'm an adult. Okay. Go ahead. Intro me available back in quarters. That's what adults do. I hear you. The people at the bar the other day were making fun of me for smoking my jewel pods. <laughs> that's, that's interesting, man. All right, sir. So here's uh. All right, sir. Here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be uh two things that I need to tell you. First of all, since I didn't actually get you uh locked in a radar by lock and give you some sort of uh, speeding classification, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna give you a warning. Second thing is, you must have been blessed with another deputy who actually observed you run three stop signs and speed and not take you to jail or tow your car away. If that was me, I wouldn't have done that. So I'm gonna tell you that right now. On your driving record, I'm going to put a note saying if you get another ticket today, your driver's license will have to be suspended, so you need to obey the the, 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 the rules of the road, okay? Oh, oh yeah, that other officer, he didn't give me no tickets. Um, I, I tried to ask him where the hell where the hell's my tickets at because, you know, I love giving out free money, but he didn't give me my ticket. Okay. So I'm very pissed about that. Yep. Do you actually know the officer's name? Because I like to make a complaint. I uh, believe uh, the, he didn't give you any type of paperwork. No, um, I mean he gave me paperwork. I signed it, but he didn't give me no damn ticket. Yeah, that's that's fine. So, uh, uh, and I, I, I hate when cops don't give me my damn ticket. Okay, uh, if you want to break off to that. All right, sir. So here's that. So like I said, drive carefully, man, and then uh, be be cool. All right. Thank you, sir. My last uh, the red right. Mustang uh, final stop is going to be 3050. Bravo 1 County, show me heading to uh, Lane County Savings Bank, so Palito Bay to check up on the uh, current situation. Trip 310-9. Uh, that was for County, sir. Never. Gas too soon. Bravo one, Connie, show me twenty three. And this man is making a cause and cause. Three, one, tango six. Tango six. Man, my CV bag is so sexy, man. I kind of trying to piece it together. I mean, the information that my deputy gave me out there. Kind of weird. User was moved out of the What the hell? Okay. Fuck that damn. What the hell? Hey, just give me one second. What the hell's going on, uh, bro? Get through really quickly, and then I'll be our. What the hell's going on here? Gotcha, man. What's going on? Going? Hey, man, I'm good. Are oh, you talking to me? Okay. So, yeah. So essentially, I pulled up on scene. Uh, the bank teller was actually going crazy. Going crazy. crazy. Like he was, uh, he was like, hey, he's scary, he's, uh, you know, just going crazy. Um, and he started running away from my user home, just, user just channel, he, channel. He, we weren't able to get him on the reps. So he comes out here and I see Mr. Hernandez and that's, I guess the person he essentially called on saying Mr. Hernandez had robbed the bank. And, um, uh, so I went to speak with Mr. Hernandez just to separate the parties cause I didn't want them close to each other and cause they, it was beginning to cause an issue. And uh, I pat Mr. Hernandez down for weapons, you know what I'm saying, he's a felon, whatever he consented. And uh, he's like, I'm just here to withdraw some money, I'm trying to get a new car. And all of a sudden this man's tripping out, saying that I robbed a bank, I don't know what's going on. What the fuck? And he's like, I'm just trying to get my money and leave. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like... I guess we're... I guess we're checking a camera, but did he, did he have any guns on him at all? Uh, no, he had nothing on him. So because he's current... Criminal record and the secure current situation that we're in, we we have enough BCPC that I'm willing to put my neck out for that we can 
go in Mr. Hernandez's car and check it out as well. Yeah, I was just kind of trying to get there with him. Well, at this point, but, uh, I kind of just wanted to. Yeah. I, well, I wonder. So, the cameras are not coming back to anything yet, or is that did the cameras go slash me? So, the cameras, the cameras went slash me. They just kind of showed that uh, Mr. Hernandez walked in, started talking to the bank teller. Uh, nothing crazy. Sorry, you cut off after nothing crazy. Oh, and then Mr. Uh, so nothing crazy happens. Mr. Hernandez walks in, speaks to the bank teller. Um, then you just see the bank teller begin to like wail his arms and kind of go crazy. And Brian uh, kind of is back and like everything's fine. What, like what's going on? What's going on? And that's when the bank teller starts to panic and uh, call the police. You know, we might we might be wrong for doing this, but one thing I may suggest is we try to find out who the bank teller manager is and see if this bank teller has history of like panic attacks, maybe been robbed before. Some type of PTSD yeah. shit that he's just going going ham for no reason. Uh, yeah, most definitely. And uh, yeah, let me. If you want to do that, I'll I'll talk to Mr. Hernandez a little more. God damn right. it! I'm gonna uh, get the get the phone number. I'll have a conversation. All right, Mr. Hernandez, Sheriff No Love. You know who I am. I know who you are. How you doing today, man? Yeah. Just to clear your name, man, because it's, um, it's a very interesting situation here. Um, you wouldn't mind if we just look through your car a little bit, see if any guns are there or not. I mean, at this point, we actually kind of almost have PC to look through your car, but you wouldn't mind if we just take a quick gander around what you? What are you saying, man? Huh? I mean, I guess, man. Is it unlocked? I'm or can clean, it... so please don't. I mean, I'm going to see. Yeah, it's unlocked now. Okay. Um, do me a favor, just hang out by this bumper for me while we do that, and uh, shouldn't be too long, okay? Gotcha. Bravo 1, units on the 1055 call. Mr. Hernandez just gave me consent to search his car. I'm going to see if he has any weapons on him in the car. 10 4. Yeah, it's still locked, sir. Thank you. Alright. Uh, 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 yep, yep, there you go. Just wait for wait for me there. I'll I'll be right with you, man. What the heck? Not sure why it's not letting me in. It's okay. I'll just oh sorry about that. Oh, you you guys will fix that. <laughs> GTA is so stupid sometimes. There's still nothing in the car. Nothing in the trunk. And now we do the roleplay search. So we found an empty box. There we go. Bravo 1 units at 1055. Uh, nothing in Mr. Hernandez's car that I found besides an empty box. Hey, Mr. Hernandez. So your car is pretty clean, huh? You take care of that car, huh? Yeah, I just... Yeah, that's a newer one, you know? Can't, can't mess that one up. Yeah, you don't like, you don't like, you don't like clutter, do you? No. Any reason why you just have a random empty box in there, then? Oh, that's that's Never. where the money I was drawing. I was just gonna ask him and then come in there, you know. Oh, you were so, so you were withdrawing money. Yeah, man. Okay. I'm gonna try if I can get into whip, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Hang on, tight, man. Thank you for your cooperation. Gotcha. Yeah. Is that what you thought? All right, how are we doing here today? How are you doing, man? Hey, how are you doing? I'm pretty good, man. Pretty good. So you are claiming that this man? Hey, that's a that's a very scary matter, man. So you are claiming he robbed you, or he attempted to rob you? Oh, 
a bunch of shit was happening, man. It's crazy, you know. I was sweating, man, you know, you know, you know, I saw him and I was like, oh shit, you know, I feel like I've seen him before, man, you know. I was like, oh, he might, he might rock the place, man. And I, I saw a gun on him, man, and I was like, oh shit, uh, I don't want to die that man, you know. I want to go home, see my kids, my, my family, you know. And I, I didn't get my papers to come to the States just to, you know, die at work, you know what I'm saying, man. I don't want to die at work, man. You said you saw- I die at home. You said you saw a gun on him? Uh, I, th I, th I thought I saw a gun, you know, something sticking out of his waistline, man, you know. But did you f did you physically you see? Gun at you. I didn't physically see one, no, man. I thought I saw one, you know. Well, hold on, did you tell these deputies that he pointed a gun at you? Yeah, when I see him, he said. I said that, man. Gun at him. Oh, I went to go check the cameras and had no weapon out of my mouth. All right, have you been robbed before, I, sir? I, Just I, curious, I, man. Have you been robbed before? Been robbed before? Yeah, like we're at your job, maybe a store clerk as a bank teller. Have you ever been robbed before? Is this? Oh no, man. I I, I used to get robbed back in Mexico, man. You okay. Know, it, it was a daily thing there, man. You know, and I walk out outside the, the store, you know, I get the fresh tortillas, and then all of a sudden some, some bitch comes up to me like, "Hey, man, give your tortillas and your pesos," and I'm like, "No, man, I need to feed my family." You know. So you've been robbed multiple <laughs> times before. Take everything from me. Oh yeah, man. Uh, Mexico is a dangerous place, man. Not to be Jesus offensive, sir, but part of our investigation. Are you, are you any kind of prescription? Anything uh, for anxiety, uh, depression, anything like that? ADHD, anything like that? Oh no, man. I, I don't take no pills, man. I'm 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 sober. I'm no drugs. And how long have you? Pills I take the ones my. And how long have you been what? working here? I, I'm I'm still kind of barely new. No, I'm okay. taking work here, man. No. I, Okay. Such nice people, man. But but that man over there, I I've, I've seen them over there, man. You know, the very dangerous guy, man. Uh, you said you're barely new to the states. When did you ever see that man before? Just a single shot. That's on TV, man. Come on, man. You know, TV, uh, television. You know, uh, Telemundo. Mm -hmm. uh, come on, come on now. You okay. See everything on TV nowadays, man. So, uh, but he never. He doesn't have a gun on him or on his car. And the camera doesn't show he has a gun, so I'm not sure where you got the idea that he was trying to rob you. Maybe he was trying to take his cell phone out, or... God damn, bro. That's cool, what are you? like the puta, man. Tango 63, I gotta... Alright, right. right, hang on tight. Um, Lieutenant, can I speak to you over here? Near the uh, Yellow Jack yes, 0338. He's, uh, initiating a weapon. He's got a weapon in his right hand. You got, uh, you got... Uh, 81, I'm on the scene. So this guy is obviously just going through some type of episode. Uh, what he's saying is not true. If 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 you didn't see a gun he's gonna on the be camera, wouldn't find a gun on him, wouldn't find a gun in his car. Five. What the fuck's going on? Also, additionally, yeah, um, did did you hear I'm him say that he pulled a gun on him? Because if he said he pulled a gun on him and now he's saying he's not, he's going to jail for obstructing that the bank teller is. I believe so. Okay, so when I arrived, I didn't. Uh, nothing on him had been kind of deep in conversation. I just kind of arrived and they were going back and forth. So I know the parties need to be separated, but I definitely saw the camera footage and there was no gun. Okay. Okay, let me go since this signal one. Let me ask Malcolm. Hey, uh, Senior Deputy Mix, can I speak to you over here? So you're 100% sure that this guy did say that that guy pulled a gun on him? 100% sure when I was talking to him, he said, pointing a gun well, at me. Okay. I went to go check the cameras and did not show that at all. Did we search the rest of the bank just to make sure there's no gun that was dropped? I mean, well, I mean, you look at the cameras, actually, there's there's no, there's no even no point. Because I'm asking, because at that point, if he said he pulled a gun on him, and that's, he's falsifying information, that's obstruction. So he'll be going to jail for obstruction if that's the case. So we'll just take a little look right quick. Yep. Yeah, so we gotta take a little. I can just we could take a little look, and then uh, if that's the case, you'll be detaining him, taking him for obstruction. Um, at this point, it's up to you, Lieutenant and Malcolm, since this is your scene. But I don't really see the need to detain or hold Mr. Hernandez any longer than this. Big up, big up. Yeah, but it's you guys' call. Let's check the bank, and then you guys can think about it. Dot thirty one. Okay. Update. We're gonna have one at gunpoint, taser point. I came in, he's standing right over here, so I'll just go and check over this area. Dot 
Delta 81, can we start us one additional code 3? 3044 Panorama, across from Yellow Jack. Well, this is locked only by us, so they can't even go back here. So I'm not okay, worried about that. So I'm not really worried about that part. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any gun. All right. I think he, like I said, I think he, okay. I think homeboy been robbed one too many times, unfortunately. But he can't be going around saying motherfuckers pulled a gun on him at the same time. You know what I mean? Right. So. Exactly. All right, Malcolm, you're gonna be 10:15 and I'm obstruction, and that's as simple as it gets, man. Alrighty. Do you guys have any objections to that? Mm -mm. All right. I mean, this is the story call, honestly. Okay. Dr. 81, we'll foot pursuit, we're going to be running this. Yeah, bound, I mean, he just pulled five bound. deputies off the street for this because we thought somebody got robbed, so, you know. Shots fired, shots fired. Oh, shit. shit. Shots right. fired, suspect down. Okay, good, at least he's down. I'll go to uh, right. get everything taken care of. Yep, yeah, if you want. Alright, appreciate you. I right, missed the Mendez, do turn investigation. We have suspect down, can we get EMS? Alright, sir, go ahead and turn around. Turn around! Wait, I'm, I'm being arrested, man. Yeah, you're gonna be arrested for obstruction at this time, man. Show me three. I'm sorry, I'm out, man. I just wanna go back to work, man. Hey, what happened again, man? Doesn't matter, man. Go ahead and turn around, man. Can't be false information like that. God damn, though. What am I gonna tell my family, man? Wait, what am I gonna tell them? All right, sir. Uh, sorry to hear that, man. I, I think you might be having a little panic attack episode, but you can't be calling cops saying you pulled a gun on some or somebody pulled a gun at you when that's not the case, man. That's very serious stuff. Uh, damn, man. I just want to go home, man. I want to go home and, right, and eat, eat, eat with my family. Can you poke me, sick me, stop me? I don't have anything, man. Uh, medical scene, uh, officer, that's me. Got shot um, Malcolm, Palito Base Station, since it's not a serious charge, Palito Base Station should be open if you want to process them there. Thank you, Sheriff. All right, Alright, fellas, um, uh, since there was a deputy involved shooting, can you head that way and make sure everything is peachy there and everything is according to policies and protocols? Yes, sir, I was just about to do that. Thank you. Alrighty, I'll see you guys around. Alright. 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 Alright.